Okay, everybody, and welcome back to Learn with Minecraft Education. Today, we're going to be looking at setting up a multiplayer game using Minecraft Education. It's usually a pretty easy thing to do uh, if we're all on the same network or in the classroom, uh, but sometimes if there's different networks involved, there's a few tricks we can use to get things working smoothly, uh, like setting up a static IP and port forwarding, which we are going to look at in this video today. Uh, if you do find this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. But without any further ado, let's look at some of the requirements for online play. So we do need to be on the same Office 365 tenant, and there are no servers available. Um, and here is our version in our bottom right, so make sure you're all on that same version, okay? And um, there is a 30-player limit, which some of us might not know. Now, if we go into a Create a New World, uh, you can see underneath where we normally click Play, there's a Host option as well. Um, so we're going to create a creative flat world and click Host. Uh, you can also chain, you can also host while you're in mid-game as well. That's absolutely fine. Uh, so we're just going to hit Escape, and it'll come up with a few options that we want to share with uh, the people that we want to join our world. So we've got our join code, which is Rail Potion Map Water Bucket, and underneath that. We've got our IP address and port. We can refresh that code as well if we like, get a different code. Um, so no one, can, no one else can join with the old code. I suppose that's the point. And the IP address and port, uh, we may need to send out to our students as well. So um, we'll keep that uh, keep that where it is. Now, if we, uh, if we exit this game, if we save and exit and go back out to the main menu, you can see uh, that uh, if we want to join a world, it's a similar kind of a, a process. So we click on Join World. The code that um, the other person has sent to us, we click on that, enter it in. Three dots at the bottom there if we want to enter in the IP address and the port, just in case there's any problems. Now, in 99% of cases, this should all work fine. But what if you're having issues? Well, let's move forward and look at some potential problems and ways that you could solve it. So the first big one is antivirus software. Uh, so over here, you've got the, f uh, you've got, um, the following websites uh, do need to be um, whitelisted for your antivirus software, so check that they are not being uh, blacklisted. And uh, static IP and port forwarding are the big things. Okay, so let's go to port forwarding now. The first thing you'll need to do is access your router, and it'll be different for each internet service provider you've got. Uh, with mine, I entered 192.168.11 in my um, address bar at the top of Chrome, and then uh, I entered the username and password on the back of my router, just have a quick Google uh, to find out if, uh, what you need to do for yours. Now to set up a static IP, I went to Home Network, LAN Interface, I went down to DHCP Reservation, and just create a new static IP address, and uh, select, select the device that I'm going to be using Minecraft Education on. Pretty simple, so uh, once you select you know, the laptop or device that you're going to be using, then uh, you'll be fine. Next, we're going to go to internet and port forwarding. Uh, this this uh, forces open the ports that you're going to be using to communicate uh, with the host, uh, with the people coming to your game. So again, uh, we're going to keep application as DNS. Select our device. So for me, I'm going to choose my Mac um, laptop. And um, you can see here, I've always already got one of these set up and created for Minecraft Education. So it's saved in there. But if I was adding a new one, go at, um, click there. Click the name, add in a new name uh, for this port forwarding. And uh, the external port, we're going to go 19132 and um, 219133. So we're opening that specific port. And it's the same on your internal port as well. And the protocol has to be TCP, UDP. It has to be both. And you might need to do it separately for both. Um, if your router doesn't allow you to do them both at the same time like mine did. I've clicked cancel because obviously I've already set this up. Uh, but it seems to work fine. I've had a few students with issues that uh, that has resolved. Um, now, the last thing you can do if you've done all of this and you've still got problems, head over to the uh, Minecraft Education website and uh, go to the support page. I'll leave a link in the description and they will try and be helpful. They do say that... Uh, they can't help in every circumstance just because, as, you, as you've seen today, people's networks are all slightly different and therefore the solutions and issues that you encounter will all be different as well. Uh, but certainly there's a lot of information there, things to try if you're really struggling to get these multiplayer games working. Um, so I hope that's resolved a few things for you. Um, now, please do like and subscribe to the channel if you found today's video at all helpful. And I will see you next time.